We are happy to have the Chancellor's procession led by our own registrar, Dr. Kaudi Akindele Ogunleye. Other members of the procession are registrars of other universities, members of the University Governing Council, pro chancellors of other universities, the active vice chancellor of the university, vice chancellors of other universities, the Ms. Biera. Please let's remain standing for the Chancellor's procession. In front of that procession is the Registrar and Secretary to the Governing Council, Dr. Kaede Akindele Ogunleye, members of the Governing Council, Pro Chancellors of other universities. Active Vice Chancellor of Lautech, Vice Chancellors of other universities, Ms. Biera, the Pro Chancellor, and Chancellors of other universities. Then our very distinguished, newly minted Chancellor, His Majesty Sir Honor, Enemweli, 13th of February. That is the base bearer, deputy registrar, by you are the leading that procession. Adiria is His Excellency, representative of the governor of this school, who is our visitor, represented today by Barrister Lawa, the deputy governor for your state. Please, while still standing, can we take the national anthem? Can we take the Oyo State Anthem? Oh, 
Shall be seated, please. We are welcome to the 15th convocation ceremonies of the Ladoki Akintola University of Technology, Gumasho, Oyo State. The Ladoki Akintola University of Technology. The Ladoki Akintola University of Technology of Gumasho Law. And pass the university to grant degrees, diplomas, certificates, and other distinctions, as well as award of medals, prizes, and other titles. It also provides that the chancellor shall preside at all meetings of congregation held for the purpose of conferring degrees. Consequently, I hereby invite the chancellor to constitute this assembly as congregation and declare the ceremony open for the purposes of admission to first degree, degrees, and presentation of prizes. Chancellor, sir. Thank you very much. I hereby constitute this assembly as a congregation of Lado K. Akintola University of Technology, Obomosho, and declare this convocation ceremony open for the purpose of conferring first degrees and presentation of prizes. The Chancellor, sir, this uh, assembly, having been fully considered as Congregation of, of Laduke Akintola University of Technology for the purpose of admission to degrees, to first degrees, and for presentation of prizes, where well, I will now call upon you, sir, to give your speech as the Chancellor of the University. I call on the Chancellor to deliver a speech for this occasion.
Your Excellency, the visitor to the university and the executive governor of your State, Engineer Olusheyi Makinde, the Deputy Governor of Oyo State, Barisaba Yolawan, the Honorable Speaker of the Oyo State House of Assembly, the Secretary of the State Government, Oyo State Head of Service, members of the Oyo State Executive Council, members of the State House of Assembly, His Royal Highnesses, my Lord Spiritual and Temporal, Chancellors of other universities, Pro Chancellor of other universities, the Executive Secretary, National University Commission, Vice Chancellor of other universities, members of Latte Governor Council, Registrar of other universities, Principal Officers of other universities, Provosts and Deans, members of Senate, members of Congregation, Head of Department and Units, President and members of Latte Alumni Association, Latte students because of whom we are here. Happy parents and guardians of the graduates, the lucky graduates, gentlemen of the press, distinguished guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Permit me to start this speech by giving glory to the Almighty God for the opportunity given to me to be appointed as the Chancellor of this great institution. I also want to appreciate the Z Governor of Oyo State, who is equally the visitor to the university and our in-law for that matter, His Excellency Engineer Olusheyi Makinde, for deeming it fit to appoint me as the Chancellor of this university. I am not taking this honor bestowed on me for granted. It is my appointment as the Chancellor of the University and my subsequent investiture that gives me the authority and privilege to preside over these 15 convocation ceremonies of this great university. Ladies and gentlemen, I heartily and formally welcome you to this 15th convocation ceremonies of this university where the undergrad, undergrad, undergraduate, graduating students of this university will be admitted to the various degrees of the university. And later on, graduating postgraduate students will be awarded various postgraduate degrees, while honorary degrees will be conferred on some prominent citizens of Nigeria who deserve such honor. I celebrate and rejoice with the graduates and their parents on this joyous occasion. As students, you have toiled, burned the midnight oil and candles in order to excel academically. Today is your day of reward for your diligence, hard work, perseverance, and endurance. Remember, not all of you that did matriculation ceremony together are here today to celebrate at today's convocation ceremony for one reason or the other. Therefore, you need to be humble and thankful to God Almighty. I charge you as you go out of this environment, this university, to go and prove the stuff with which you are made. Many of your senior colleagues who have passed out of this university continue to prove themselves both within and outside the country. And don't forget your alma mater when you eventually make it in life. That is the way to keep your university going and growing. The purpose of university education is to be, is, is to, is for its graduates to provide the necessary manpower needed for a country to develop. Our universities are supposed to provide graduates who have skills, knowledge, and the necessary capacity needed for a country to develop. In this era of knowledge economy, what is needed are graduates who can use their brain and initiatives to fill the existing vacuum by providing unparalleled services where they are most needed. 
That's the sense and basis of university education. Many of our universities in this country and their graduate lack all the basic skills to make difference in their society. I'm however happy to inform you that from the information at my disposal, this institution is producing graduates who are making differences not only in the country but all over the world. So, uh, so as fresh graduates of the university, you have no excuses at all not to excel. Likewise, I congratulate the postgraduate students who today have been found qualified to be awarded various postgraduate degrees. My prayer for you is that you shall continue to excel in life all the time. Let me also use this opportunity to congratulate the honorary degree awardees for being found worthy to be conferred with the degrees of this university honoris Corpus. You were singled out for this honor because of the role roles you have been carrying out in the society. Congratulations to you once again. However, you should know that to whom much is given, much is expected. Now that you have been honored by this great institution, you should begin to be concerned about its growth and development. Reward of hard work is more work. I therefore want to admonish you to let your presence be felt in the university. Join the Oyo State Government and the management of the university to see the development of the university. Immediately upon being conferred with honorary, degree, honorary degrees of this university, your impact must be felt. Let me end this speech by rejoicing with this university, this very special university, and the Oyo State Government for the progress being recorded by this university in the last few years of the present administration in Oyo State. I was told that some years ago, things were very difficult for the university. I'm sure all those things have disappeared in Jesus' name. The university was almost on the verge of collapse, never, before the present administration of Governor Shei Makinde came into its rescue. I just want to advise staff and students to maintain the, the, the temple of peace and progress of the university and probably up it so that both staff and students can enjoy the dividends of peace, progress, and stability. To God be the glory for all he has done for this university. Thank you, and God bless all of you. Thank you. The Chancellor, we now move to admission to first degrees. Chancellor, sir, the persons who have been presented have fulfilled the requirements of the status and regulations of the university and have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the degrees of their respective faculties and college. I therefore call upon the Provost College of Health Sciences and deans of the various faculties to present their graduating students, starting with the dean, faculty of agricultural sciences, dean, faculty of agricultural sciences, the acting vice chancellor, sir, in the absence of the dean of faculty of agricultural sciences, I respectfully call upon you to do the presentation of the students on behalf of the faculty.
Honorable Chancellor Sir, I present the graduates standing before you and those who are unavoidably absent for whom I stand proxy and who have successfully completed their Bachelor of Technology degree examinations and have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Technology, BTEC, of Lautec, Lado Kakintara University of Technology, Ogumosho. Will the students in the Faculty of Agri please stand and remain standing while I call on the Dean, while I call on the Dean of the Faculty of Engineering and Technology to step forward and prevent, present the students. With the graduating student in the Faculty of Engineering and Technology, please stand and remain standing. Honorable Chancellor. Sir, I present the graduates standing before you and those who are unavoidably absent for whom I stand proxy and who have successfully completed their Bachelor of Technology degree examinations and have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Technology, BTEC, of Ladoki Akintola University of Technology, Ugumoso. I call upon the Dean, Faculty of Environmental Sciences, Professor M. Ujalili, to present his students. With the graduating students in the Faculty of Environmental Sciences, please stand and remain standing. Honorable Chancellor, sir, I present the graduates standing before you and those who are unavoidably absent, for whom I stand proxy, and who have successfully completed their Bachelor of Technology degree examinations, and have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Technology, P.Tech of Ladoki, Akintola University of Technology, Ubumansha. I call upon the Dean, Faculty of Management Sciences, to present students from the faculty. Okay, in the absence of the Dean, the Acting Vice Chancellor, please, will come forward for the presentation of the students. Honorable Chancellor, sir, I hereby present the graduates standing before you and those who are unavoidably absent for whom I stand proxy and who have successfully completed their Bachelor of Technology degree examinations and have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Technology, BTEC, of Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, Ogumosho. Thank you. I call upon the Dean, Faculty of Pure and Applied Sciences, Professor E.T.J. Kukule, 
to present students. The acting vice chancellor, sir. Chancellor, sir, I present the graduates standing before you and those who are unavoidably absent, for whom I stand proxy, and who have successfully completed their Bachelor of Technology degree examinations and have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Technology BTEC of Ladoke, Akintola University of Technology, Ugoma Shore. Thank you. And last but not the least, I call upon the Provost College of Earth Sciences, Professor A. A. S. Adeyemi, to do the presentation of his students as in the College of Earth Sciences. Again, I call upon the Acting Vice Chancellor to make the presentation. Honorable Chancellor, sir, I present the graduates standing before you and those who are unavoidably absent for whom I stand proxy and who have successfully completed their degree examinations and have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Technology, BTEC, Bachelor of Medicine and Surgery, MBBS, Bachelor of Medical Laboratory Sciences, BMLS, and Bachelor of Nursing, B. Nursing, of Ladoki, Akintola University of Technology, Obomasho. Please, all the graduate students should stand and remain standing. Please stand and remain standing while I call upon the Chancellor. While I call upon the Chancellor for his pronouncement on the candidates. By the authority of Senate, I admit you all and severally to the degrees of Bachelor of Technology, Bachelor of Medical Laboratory Science, Bachelor of Nursing Science, and Bachelor of Medicine and Surgery of Ladoke at Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, Obomosho. Please, the graduates of student, please step forward. You come and take handshake of the chancellor. The chancellor will stand here. You file out. You file out, and then you receive handshake of the ch chancellor. The graduating students, please file out. The faculty officers, will please lead them. They will receive the handshake of the chancellor.
Thank you very much. Congratulations to you once again. And we appreciate our Chancellor. Before we recognize our guests and the NUC Executive Secretary Representative with his message, we want to inform us that since last year it has become, since last convocation ceremony, it has become the tradition of this university to recognize some scholars who have made impact in their contribution to knowledge and who contribute towards the development of the university in terms of academic ratings of the university. And I will now call upon the acting vice chancellor to recognize such scholars and the chancellor and the pro-chancellor we present them the certificate of recognition and appreciation by the university. Acting Vice Chancellor, sir. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have the pleasure to present to you the following lecturers in the university with outstanding scholarly publications. One, Professor Onubwenga Solomon Bello, Department of Pure and Applied Chemistry. Hmm? Number two, Professor Latif Agbaje, Department of Pure and Applied Biology. Number three, Professor Beatrice Iyabo Olayemi Adi Omawaye, Department of Food Science. Number four, Professor Omotayo. Sarafa Dean Amuda, Department of Pure and Applied Chemistry. And last but not the least, number five, Professor Musibao Adewi Aziz, Department of Pure and Applied Biology. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The Chancellor, sir. It's now time to receive the goodwill message from the National Universities Commission, ably represented, the Executive Secretary, ably represented by John Merafi Amadou, Executive Secretary. Sir. The visitor, ably represented, the Chancellor of the University, the Pro-Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, other principal officers of the University, let me stand on the protocols already properly established by the Registrar. I am presenting the good message of the Executive Secretary, National Universities Commission, Professor Abubakar Adamu Rashid, who is unavoidably absent so the words I speak are indeed those of the Executive Secretary. It is indeed my pleasure to bring to this esteemed convocation the very warm felicitations of the management and staff of the National Universities Commission. Indeed, the entire Nigerian University system. Let me first commend particularly His Excellency Engineer Shea Makinde, the Executive Governor of and visitor to the university for his interest and sustained efforts despite the challenging economic times in the provision of the required infrastructure and facilities for a peaceful and conducive learning environment in this university. The commission is proud to have been part 
of the efforts initiated by His Excellency towards the successful review of the honor fee structure of Laotech. Let me also commend His Royal Majesty, Sir Honor Sergeant Chidi Awuse, the paramount ruler of Emoha Kingdom, on his appointment and investiture as the Chancellor of Ladeke Akintola University of Technology. The National Universities Commission is assured that your Royal Majesty will bring your wealth of experience as well as the required leadership and policy direction in the furtherance of the ongoing transformation of this university. I commend the Pro-Chancellor and Chairman of Council as well as other members of the Governing Council for their guidance and support being accorded the University Senate and management towards the reposition of this legacy institution to its rightful pride of place in the provision of quality university education in Nigeria. We must realize that convocation ceremonies mark the end of a period of academic activities, including teaching, learning, and community service. Convocation ceremonies usher the graduates into the dawn of a new life, having confirmed that they have been well prepared and found worthy both in character and learning for the future. I wish to appreciate our colleagues in the academia for their selfless services and patience, as well as to the parents and guardians who have sacrificed so much to ensure that these future leaders acquire the required knowledge for national development. The National Universities Commission, as the regulatory agency charged with the honors responsibility of ensuring the orderly development of university education in Nigeria, is not unaware of the challenges in public universities, but we will continue to engage and work with stakeholders towards ensuring a crisis-free university system in Nigeria. As you are aware, the Commission has concluded the review of university curricula and is working towards finalizing the document for implementation. The new curricula, which allows universities to determine 30% of the content of each course in line with their peculiarities, when finalized, will afford our students the opportunity to compete favorably with their global counterparts. Once more, on behalf of the management and staff of the National Universities Commission, I, con I congratulate all the graduates on the occasion of this auspicious 15th convocation ceremony, while I wish you the very best in your future endeavors. Vice Chancellor, congratulations on the success of the ceremony. Thank you, sir. Chancellor, sir, it's time to recognize and receive goodwill messages from other universities. And as I call your name, please step forward, present your goodwill message to the Vice Chancellor, and then we'll recognize you. Professor Timothy A. Adebayo, Vice Chancellor, Ajayi Krada University, Oyo, is one of us. Please let's give him a special round of applause. He's one of us and he has always been with us. Professor Chituru Oluwere, Oluwene, River State University, Provost College of Medical Sciences. Professor 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 Nerum S. Oyi Okobule, River State University Product Vice Chancellor. You're welcome. We recognize your presence. Professor Adimola A. Kolapo, Bells University of Technology Ota. Representing the Vice Chancellor. We recognize your presence. We appreciate it. Thank you and God bless. Dr. Bolanle A. Usheni, the Polytechnic Ibadan, representing the representing the Provost. 
director. Polytechnic Ibada is representing Professor K.E. Adebi. Then Professor Uno E. Uno, Federal University of Technology, Mina, Deputy Vice Chancellor Admin. We appreciate you for your presence and for coming to Fairly State with us. The Chancellor, sir. The Chancellor, sir. I have the honor to invite you to declare the convocation ceremony closed. I hereby declare the convocation ceremony closed. Shall we all please stand up? Please let's rise to take first loud tech anthem. Loud tech anthem. <laughs>
The procession will be in reverse order. Please, let's maintain silence as members of the Chancellor's procession take their leave. <laughs>